guys, welcome back to Table Talk, the show where we talk about all your questions and topics that you send us on Twitter using the hashtag Table Talk or the ones you send us on Reddit in the appropriate thread using uh, the subreddit r slash. What do you have in your hands? Hey, what do you have in your nothing. hands? What is Bree Esrig from SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd have in her hands? Hi, I'm Sam Basher from SourceFed Nerd. This is Will from SourceFed. And guys, today's episode. And what? He's on the People Be Like channel. Check out the People Be Like channel. It's a brand new channel. It's really good. He's got a show People Be Like. He has Politics Be Like. And he has Baby Deep Dive. Please put an annotation up on the screen. This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Domain.com is the place to go for all your domain name and web hosting needs. It's super easy to use. It's one-stop shopping. If you make a website or a domain or you buy a domain, you don't need to use .com.org. You can use fun ones like .space, .design, .nyc, anything you really want. You or should whatever make a they website. have. I should make a website. I used to make a website, but I would use domain.com. They're really easy to use, and you guys should use it too because you can save 20% if you use the coupon code TALK at domain.com's checkout. They're super easy to use. Go check them out. We love them. What would that you was make? Smooth as hell. Sam. Yes! Sam's the fastest man in the building. That was way too smooth. <laughs> hmm. Eat, Ladies, Sam drinks smooth move. Normally I, I like crunchy, but. Mm. I hope you're I'm digging. I'm digging that. Smoothie. What's your actual opinion on crunchy peanut oh, butter? Oh, th you have to have crunchy. I hate all the all of you. <laughs> okay, wait, are you wait, on my wait, team? No, no, no. I, I'm on your team. I'm on okay. your team. It's creamy. But have you ever had crunchy peanut butter? Yeah. Do you like it? Yes, it hurt my. No, it hurts my <laughs> teeth. It hurts my teeth. Do actual peanuts hurt your teeth? No, it's just they're, they're like so small. Mm -hmm. It's like I could take a nut. I could. I've been known to take a nut. Mm -hmm. But like we know. when you cut that nut up and take little bitty bitty nuts, like mm -hmm. nuts all around, like that will hurt my teeth. They get stuck. I like crunchy peanut butter uh, on occasions, like holidays. Like if I have a day off and I want to celebrate, I'll do some crunchy peanut butter. Your life must be so bland. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm uh, feeling oh, bad today. I'm gonna celebrate out. with some crunchy. With some I crunchy. whip out with the crunchy and the boysenberry jelly, not the not the strawberry. Or oh, the grape. That's good. My life got berry. so much better when I stopped buying regular jelly. Like, if it just says, like, jelly on it, fuck that shit. Get, like, boysenberry some shit. Boysenberry is the best. Like, Boys and I've had that since I was a kid. Mm. It's so good. Oh, Raspberry. you know what else is good? KY. What's, what's that? Kids, please don't jelly. put that on sandwiches. Please don't what put that? that on sandwiches. It's, KY jelly? It's a sexual lubricant. <sighs> One time, Steve gave me lube and I lost it. That same day. <laughs> Here's a story. One time I, we, uh, I was with... Uh, uh, Is it inside of you? <laughs> no, I could have. He gave it to it's me. Slippery. He was like, he was like, all right, well, now don't lose this. And I immediately lost it. Uh, I, I never even it opened it. With somebody and uh, I didn't think to like, oh, wow, this is cold because we got it from like a store. And I immediately put it in my hand. I was like, cool, here we go, start. And it was freezing cold and like mood killed immediately. We're like, I don't want to do this anymore. There's a mess everywhere. On like, your to go dick? Like, huh? <laughs> It was cool. Yes, that's on my dick. Yes, on my dick. Yes, on my Can dick. Can I put it in other places? Can I put it right on my ear in case she There's... wants to like ear bang me? Yeah. I DJ's guess. uh kinda shaking no. You know what, kids, I wouldn't DJ's try to the put one it... that taught me to ear bang move. <laughs> yeah. He said, All right, well now when you all right, if you want to do it right, teach it an ear bang move. I swear to god DJ said that shit. DJ to gets me. in those moods. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I got a question here because that's what we do on this stupid uh, show. I love the show, just kidding. Uh drifting oh. uh uh noxious gaze. From Reddit writes, make up the next young adult novel series hit. Uh, okay, it's a boy. He has no uh, talents, he has no skill, he's actually pretty lazy. But wait a second, wizards. Robot <laughs> wizards. Robot wizards in a post apocalyptic world <laughs> that out of the society is broken down into five different groups. One is courageous, the other one is skilled, the other one is I. The other three are uh, the, like the Hufflepuffs. They're the Hufflepuffs. Uh, they're the Hufflepuffs. Uh, but at the end of it, he realizes he's the real enemy. Ooh. Wow. Can someone do a cover wait, art for that? Wait, who's please? the enemy? <laughs> who's the enemy he thought was the enemy? The wizard robot? Wait, the robot, okay, the, the evil robot wizard. But what he found out was he was actually sent back in time to stop them, but he was the original one in the future. So, so, he, so here's his timeline. He starts out boring, gets his power for no real reason, then he becomes evil, but then uh, by the end of his life, he's like, you know what, I can do better. What's it called? Who's playing this character? Dylan O'Brien. Yeah, Dylan of course, Dylan O'Brien. Uh, Maze Runner. Sexiest man in the whole world. Maze Runner. Boy man. Is there going to be a Maze Runner too? He's got Can a, I see yeah, the question? Yeah, it's about to come out. Yeah, it's young adult. What's, what's it called? Next, what's the next young adult? Uh, I only know uh, one O'Brien. Uh, Coco. Scorch. Coco. Oh. Also, I just like saying scorch. It sounds like a wet word. Make scorch. Up the next young adult Sc novel. Scorch. Hit. He looks like Moses Storm, but different. He's Moses Storm. Yeah. Star. From I'm um, it. Okay. Oh. Next young adult hit. I like that guy. Uh, 
It's going to be about teens that are in high school. Of course. For sure. But then what happens? But they're not ordinary teens. Of course not. So there's another planet called Zirconia. Mm -hmm. And these teens have doppelgangers on this other planet. Mm -hmm. Something happens where the people from Zirconia come down to Earth and they're like, oh my God. We look exactly the same, and they accidentally switch. So one of the humans gets sent up to the other planet, and then the space kid comes down. And so then they have to team up with their counterparts and fight a villain. Okay, That's, okay, that sounds similar to the book I suggested called Interworld, and a bunch of people read it, and they're like, Sam, why would you suggest such a bad book? If you remember in that table talk from a year ago, I said it was a bad book. It was a bad book with a good idea. Don't be mad at me anymore. Is it the same idea that I just okay. said? No, it's one boy, and he, there's every, his doppelgangers in every universe have the power to traverse different universes. Mm. So they all come together and fight crime in other universes. You know what's something that's not, not in uh, comic books anymore? Hmm. Uh, fighting crime. Like, oh, there's a the bank robber. That shit doesn't happen anymore. They're, well, kind of, but they're kind, it, it happens like... Simple crimes don't yeah. happen. No, they don't. No, no it like always a bank blows robbery up happen. to something yeah. else. It's always yeah. the world's going to be destroyed uh, every yeah. time. Yeah. It's never just, oh, I stole some jewels. It's <laughs> never that. No, they don't have a whole story on that. It's like a beat at the end or in the Yeah, or in the beginning. beginning. Yeah. You catch the guy stealing the jewels who's just working with the guy who's like, you know, trying to blow up everything. That was like his petty crime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his yeah, petty crime. He was what it is. Oh, my... Adult novel, all right, so there's this kid, all right, mm -hmm. his name is James, because that's the name of, you know, generic guy. His yeah. life has been generic his whole life. All he's ever thought about was nothing. And then one day, he wakes up, and he's in a hospital. And everyone in the hospital tries to kill him. Mm -hmm. And he finds under his pillow a gun, and he kills everyone mm -hmm. before they kill him. If, is he, like, a spy, or did he just no. have a gun under? Okay. Do we know? Do we ever find out what happens? No. How did he get the gun? Mm-hmm. Do you ask John Green how this shit happened? <laughs> He's like, uh, I wrote it. Mm. Excuse me? He's like, I wrote this book based off of this girl that I met who had cancer. See, now you made it real. See, now, <laughs> I mean, now you made it real. I mean... That movie sounds like, uh, that book sounds like this movie that came out with Cedric the Entertainer. Top five? <laughs> and Louis, and Lu, uh, Lucy Liu. Top uh, five? No, uh-uh. <laughs> he, uh, he got hit on the head and he thought he was a secret agent. And Lucy Liu bought into it, but at the end you find out he's just a janitor. Oh yeah! <laughs> what is I, that it's, called? It's so bad. That <laughs> era. I need to smoke and watch. No, that. no, no disrespect to him or them, those movies, but th that time in movies, like what, like two thousand five? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. We made the worst movies. Bad. Bad, bad movies. movies. Okay, Bad Santa was really good. No, is that the one where the Santa Claus is just fucked up and Billy he's like Bob Thornton? Thornton. Bad movies. No, that movie was so good. I remember my mom told me she almost took me to see that movie until she realized that it was not for kids, and she said she was going to be very upset if she had accidentally put her child, because I was a child at the time. Have you guys ever walked out of a movie before? Walked out yeah. of a no. movie? Yes. Never. Never? Mm -mm. No. What did you walk out of? Uh, It was a Hilary Duff movie. I know! What, what kind what of Hilary Duff movie could it you walk out called, of? Um... The one where she's like a bad teenager or some shit? The one where she, it's her and her sister, and they're like rich socialites. Oh, I don't know that I one. forget what it was called. but Is I... it her actual sister in the movie? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I hate it, it when they do that. that a movie it was that, that middle bad. America can, to, could relate with. <laughs> it was one of those things where I, because I'm like a huge fan, as you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Hilda fan. I had to walk out of that movie. That and Drowning Mona. I don't know what that is. Did you ever see that? Mm. My pa like the Harry we Potter sequel? No, I don't even remember it. I just remember as a family, we collectively walked out of the movie together. <gasps> really? And I still don't know why. I just I've couldn't. Revisit it. I don't like it. I think that it's it's like so disrespectful. I mean, but I guess if the movie disrespected you. If I didn't know what the movie was and I go, okay, okay so I was a kid and I was Snakes on a Plane sounded like a really cool movie because they're like people like crowdfunded it and they all wrote it together and it was really cool. But it's I'm, so good. but I'm, a, I'm like in elementary school and like when I went and saw it and like the girl like they're having sex in the in the bathroom and they uh, they both get killed by snakes and the guy gets bit on the dick and he he yeah. dies from it and I was like as a kid I was like, I like I left the theater by myself and my mom was like yeah we'll leave and we walked around until my family was done watching the movie. Aww. I definitely felt real cool after that because I watched it later and it was fine. Six and you saw plane. boobs as a six as a six year old as a sixth who, grader. Who gets to decide if movies are good or not? Hmm? Who gets to decide? The movie's not bad. I just felt uncomfortable watching it as a kid. What makes a movie good? What makes those two thousand five movies so bad? Oh, I don't. They're cheesy. They're cheesy. There's a lot of pandering. And they're shot on video. Oh, Maybe the go. plot. <laughs> plot is bad. Fantastic the plot Four is not of great. of snakes on a plane is dumb as hell. Well, it's, but it's, it's meant to be fun. It is. It's fun though. 
Go ahead. I like anything that Samuel L. Jackson does. I exactly. You ever seen Jenga? Have you ever seen Unbreakable? Kimmy Schmidt? Uh-huh. Unbreakable. <laughs> uh, a drunk bear says, pro or con rainy days and why? Uh, I definitely like rainy days. I like rainy days, too. I woke up this morning, it was a little cloudy, and made my day better. Yeah. I'll tell you the pro and the con. The pro is, we're in a drought, great. The earth needs water. Mm. Con, all the animals in the shelter have to sit in the rain. They do? Yeah. Why? Well, a lot of them have, like, overhangs or shelters that they can crawl into, but for the most part, it just, like, rains in their little area. That's actually how I got my dog when I adopted her in the shelter. It was mm -hmm. raining and she was like the only dog that stood out in the rain getting soaked and she was just like staring at me and I was like oh! oh no She's smart. She's she smart. Yeah. She's smart. These places aren't inside? A lot of them aren't. You'd be, okay, for, people see, people obviously like dogs and animals more than they like humans. Why the fuck are these shelters so bad? They're Why are there Taco cold. Bells that are better than dog shelters? I know, I know. Why they because they don't all have based a lot of money. They're, yeah, they're non-profits, right? They're usually yeah. non-profits. Yeah. They yeah, I think they all are non-profits. Definitely. And a lot of the cat shelters are inside. But that's why if you are getting rid of old clothes or blankets, you should just donate them to the shelter. Because why? they need them. The dogs need, like, the comfy blankies. Oh, I thought you meant clothes. I was like, what are you they doing with my pair of jeans? Make, you, can take, like, you can take your old shirts or mm -hmm. something and give them to the dogs to, like, sleep on. How many dogs do you think don't give a fuck? They're like, yeah, I'm in the shelter they can't i mean it's do scary. they know it's scary do you think some of them are like fuck i'm gonna cage now all right do you uh, think not one of them is like fine whatever i think they all are some, kind of some aware of their of uh spirits are broken they're probably not happy about it some of them are like shit mm -hmm. I, f I feel like at least one of them is like well you know i'm in the shelter they don't get walked a lot really there's yeah. not you guys don't have one guy to fucking walk around they get so many dogs they daniel so radcliffe could walk eight of them in that one movie <laughs> I'm sorry. No, what I'm not gonna start that. that. I know we can't say it because you because you like you like the person who made it. I I personally didn't like the movie. Uh, There's only one wreck. movie. Oh, I didn't. Train wreck. Oh god. All right. I'm so nervous. Do it. <laughs> You're right to be nervous. This comes from at Allie Williams 19. Which Disney princess do you think fits your personality the best? <laughs> They're all kind of like too PC for me. What? They're all a little bit too PC for me. What's PC? Like, you know, correct? just like a Harry. Oh. oh, no, you know who I love? Oh, my God, what I about? always have loved. Who? Belle. You love Belle? Yeah. Just, yeah. Because she's, just because she's beautiful? She's just very beautiful and, like, so smart. I like people who are the opposite of me. Mm -hmm. So, like, I would love that she would just be, like, very calm about things that I just wouldn't be. Yeah. I love her. Belle's not bad. So you would be Belle or you would I like... I would be with Belle. You would be and you know who's playing her in an upcoming flick? Emma's Watson. Yeah. And Cal Drago's playing Belle. the Beast. She's a real life Belle. Who are you like? I gotta think about the princesses. I, I, uh, I'm Jasmine. She has a lot of attitude. She's she the only other one. Yeah, too. I got attitude. I like her. I, think... I got attitude. Yeah. I'm definitely a hybrid between Tiana, Milan, and Ariel because of my curiosity. Mm. Can we say it's curiosity or is she just dumb? She's <laughs> dumb, but Tiana and Milan make up for that. They you make up for it. Okay, yeah. 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 Is she dumb? She's just. I don't know. She's ignorant. Literally, the she's word is half ignorant. Fish. She's half fish. She's <laughs> half fish. She's dumb. She has a human brain, but then like most of her body is fish. Like that seems cool, but if you really looked at it, like if you've never had an orgasm in your life, you just are missing out on uh, so much. You don't know fish what that's like. You can't, describe, you can't describe a color or an orgasm. Hmm. <laughs> describe me a color, Sam. Thank you for asking that. Girl, uh, dumb no, shit. you can't. You can't. I've never. I've also tried to explain uh, a color, and I've also tried to think of a new color, and you can't. You can't. Oh! You were cool. What if you just saw like all these colors come out of my eyes, and yeah, I was like, like guys, I made a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I made a new one. <laughs> X crit five X from Reddit writes: Out of all of you, whose dad would win a <laughs> would win in a fight? Man. Man, oh, Bree's no. dad's been in earthquakes. Yeah. <laughs> Bree's dad fought the rock. My dad isn't in the, my dad is very nice, he's a very nice man, and I've seen him be like angry before to like, you know, like, or like, not like angry, but like protective, so mm -hmm. I'm like, ah, but I don't think he'd be good in a fight. I don't really? think he'd be good in a fight. I have to be honest, I'm sorry dad. My dad I'm gives, sorry dad if you watch this. My dad gives so little fucks. Like uh -huh. if you were like, my dad's nice to people, but if you came up to him and was like, fuck you, Mr. Haynes, he'd be like, oh, okay, bye. And then he'd never talk to you again. 
Like, what if he's cornered though? Uh, I'm thinking if my dad was cornered and he had to fight. If he had to if fight. If he had to fight? Yeah. My dad could beat my ass. I know he could. My dad's my strong. My dad would probably win then. Yeah. I bet yeah. you that. When I I don't know what the dads have. When I was in high school, I don't know why I wanted an iPod as if that would further my life at all. And uh, it was before phones could do that shit. And I was like, my, I was like, my dad was like, "All right, beat me in a push-up contest, and then I'll get your iPod." I was like, "All right, motherfucker!" And I definitely <laughs> lost immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's Amazing. a good contest. My dad yeah. is over thirty-five years older than me, and I lost. How how many did you guys do? I don't. I'm, I did less than ten. Now I can do more than that. But yeah, like, hell yeah. yeah, he did more than that. Twelve. You seen this mm-hmm. shit? I'm proud of Will. I'm proud of Will. He's been working out every night. Really? More or less. Yeah. Do you want to have anything. a push-up contest right now? Hell no. No, I tell you, if you work out, you got to eat. You yeah. have to eat food to it's build more, muscle. It's more about staying consistent with me. I like p- putting myself, like, doing something mm-hmm. at the right time. But psh, if you don't eat and you work out, it's actually hurting your body. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah it hurts your body. I kind of just want to look like me but be stronger. Eat that protein. That's a superhero. That's a superhero. That's Spider-Man. Yeah. You know what? I was thinking about this the other day. You remember how in in Spider-Man, uh, like all of a sudden he like he woke up the next day and he was like, oh fuck, I'm Jack. That is so cool. That was cool. That's so fake. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? And that that was the, fake. Uh, that's the fakest that's part for me. Fake. Not the fact that he's a spider now. Yeah. No, he's a spider the man. fakest part of that shit, not him clinging to walls. We can figure that shit out. You cannot wake up the next day and like, oh, fuck, oh, yeah. And man. he didn't really react that much to it. If I woke up and I had a body like that, I'd be like, what the fuck? I'd be going on MySpace because that's what we I'd had be in the time. I'd be screaming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'd be taking a photo. I'm like, you can't just be like, oh, yeah. Uh, you should actually keep this a secret. Yeah. You know, like, when he doesn't have to wear glasses anymore, you guys don't know what this is like. But if I didn't have to put in contacts or put my glasses, on that'd be so cool yeah. yeah god like i can just like oh look at this i take these out i can still see yeah like i i can drive oh. a car <laughs> like i that's what lasik i can is. read no like it's not like magic it doesn't like it doesn't like fix it like permanently it, like, no every 10 years yeah it like slightly improves it still need to wear reading glasses <laughs> that's why when i figured out when i found out that lasik doesn't actually like fully give your sight back to you i'm like what does it do how that. long does it do it for i don't know like it's just kind of like it improves it do you think back in the, like in the like old days, like uh, hundreds of or maybe thousands of years ago, people thought that like if you were like going like if you had bad vision, they're like, oh, you got a demon in your eyes and you Probably. can't see. What kind of ignorant shit is that? Did you guys uh, not but not to get like religious at all? But did you guys ever read the Bible at all? Or like, no. you, like Oops, sorry, go to, go to Sunday school? Did you guys ever go to Sunday yeah. school? I didn't read the Bible. I went to Sunday school. I remember they told us a story about how. Uh, when Jesus like cured a blind man, he spit into some mud and rubbed the mud on a blind <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. And that was the one part I was like, Ew! This blind dude let him do that? Like, I mean, I was he gonna do run away? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then he rubbed it and he went and washed it off and he could see. And I was like, what? Well, that's, that's beautifully metaphoric. Imagine if a man walked up to you and spit in your eye. And, he, and you were like, damn see. it! Oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> Here, spit on my wound, please. Heal that up, please. Heal that up, man. Yeah. If I always thought about that, like I would want to have superpowers, like to be able to heal people. Like after I saw Heroes, and there was that guy that could, like you know, you know, ooh, I'm around. Mm. And uh, and I was like, but then my life would suck. They'd be like, all right, well now you gotta go to Afghanistan and shit and heal people. I'd be like, damn it, I wanted to go to the club. Uh, you know how cool yeah. that shit is? They're like, oh, I cut myself on the floor. I'd be like, all right. <laughs> but now, now you gotta be in hospitals and shit all day. Just... That's true. It's a burden. Oh, no. It's it a burden. It is a burden to a burden, save burden, lives. But a miracle. But like r- realistically, like if you could teleport. The government would take you. The government would be like, okay, now you gotta work for if the army. You, okay, so yeah. like, I've been thinking about this a lot. I think about superheroes a lot. If you guys didn't know this, uh, really? but like, what? Yeah, the the shittiest version of teleporting is only being able to teleport where you could see. Like that's always like happens in comic books. Like that's like a trump card they do. Like so he's like he's not like immortal. He's not a god, but he, like as long as he can see where he's going, like Nightcrawler, like he can go there. I'm like that's so stupid. Wait, he has Nightcrawler has to be able to see in the it. movie. He does. I don't know about the comics, but yeah. And like in uh, the Flash TV show, they got a teleporter, and she has to see. Where but can you look going. at a piece of paper and see it? It has to be in and his Jumper vision. in that movie. You guys see that? Jumper's I the best. Loved I love Jumper. 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 That movie is it. dumb, oh, but I love my that God. movie. Have you read the book though? No, no. I read the first like ten pages of the book. <laughs> And it was not like the movie. <laughs> like, at least three times in the first couple pages of the book, he almost gets his, like, butthole eaten out by a trucker and shit. And I was like, oh, oh right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is not family friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the fun kind. <laughs> 
Uh, I guess if you're into that shit, if you were like, I really like truckers. Like, I really like truckers <laughs> and I really like teleporting. Like, yeah. check out Jumper, the novel kids. I All love right. fictional works about lot lizards. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, that movie was cool because he literally could teleport anywhere. No, okay. there was no rule to the, it. The coolest part is when he's like in that chase scene at the end with like the other teleporter and like they have like the bomb and they're like like they're in the Arctic and now they're in like a fucking thing and then they're in another thing. <laughs> Man, I should pitch him. Why don't we just? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, don't, why don't they just sit and talk about it? Why don't he just? Okay, you could teleport anywhere. You see Samuel Jackson teleport behind him, slap the shit out of the back of his head. That's it. They are <laughs> not smart. Enough. You're moving at the speed of light, like you. He's not smart enough to turn around no. fast enough and get you. Like when people get caught, like in the movie, a guy gets caught and he gets like strung up and they like slice him open, like because they're like weird yeah. religious zealots or whatever. And like, you are not a smart teleporter if you. You get are caught. not. A, you can teleport anywhere in the world and you still got caught. Go to Italy, you dumb motherfucker. They're not everywhere. It was a. That's where you got society. caught too. Yeah. 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 That is, yeah. That is, yeah. In the Colosseum. Mm. Yeah. All right. Damn it. That's where you die. Mm. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching Table Talk. Uh, it's been a <laughs> hell of a time. And thank you to Domain.com for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you check it out using that uh, coupon code Talk. Uh, domain.com. Check out. You save twenty percent. It's pretty cool. I'm Sam. I'm William Haynes. I'm Bree Estridge. Tell me which superpower you could have that the government wouldn't make you do shit. Because I want to know what it is. Ooh. Tell us about the. Dumbest time a superhero has been uh, stupid. Yeah. It's so funny because we have to go from like R to G. <laughs> yep, in a matter of. In the turn of a corner. <laughs> Are you guys done? Basically, I film stuff in slow motion and uh, we use special cameras that film thousands of times faster than normal cameras. And it's very easy. You just point it at something and it looks way cooler than it does in real life. Easy. How much is that camera? How much is it worth? It's about $150,000. <laughs>